hello you guys welcome and welcome back to another video today in this video i'm going to show you how to achieve a 3d text effect for your designs so as we all know every designer always like to use 3d text effects for their designs and that is because it makes your design to stand out and it makes your design to have this 3d look and it looks very cool even though you don't have to use it frequently so the aim of this video is to show you the easiest way to make 3d text effect with just few clicks with photoshop and i'm going to tell you the reason why you should consider using my steps on how to make 3d text effects as we all know designers spend so much time to come up with a design idea and most times it takes a longer time to come up with a cool looking 3d text effect but with these few steps you're going to get 3d text effect in a very easy way and really quick you don't have to feel bad when using this method even if anyone discourage you because it's the best way to make your workflow very fast and this is the main reason why we have division of labor in graphic design so we have designers that create resources for other designers to use and make their workflow very easy so for 3d text effects thank me later after watching this video so to achieve the 3d text effects all we have to do is to launch your browser and once you launch your browser this is what you see any browser you use at all it's applicable so all you have to do is to search for www.freepeak.com and this is my best website for graphic design resources so if you are not a user of freepeak.com do your best to use this website because it's going to really help you in your workflow as a graphic designer so once you open up freepeak.com next thing you want to do is to come to where you have your filter so you click on resources and when you click on resources you come to free because we actually want to search for free stuff and this is 100 percent free you don't want to pay for this okay you go for free so you come to where you have your psd because we want every file to be on psd okay we need photoshop files so all you have to do is to search for 3d text effect okay that looks cool then you search and you see a variety of 3d text effect you will likely want to use for your designs and all these are 100 percent free on freepig.com and i'm going to use this 3d text effect to make a flyer in our next video just right in this channel all i want you to know is how to get the 3d text effect then i'm going to show you how to use it on your flyer designs if this video makes any sense to you make sure you leave a like and share this video with a friend as well so with this you have a lot of text effects you like to check out and know what's best for your designs and really quick any text effect you see as a smart object just right here they are actually editable on adobe illustrator but all we are looking for are 3d text effects that can be editable on photoshop so you check for the ones that has psd smart objects these ones are editable with photoshop so i'm going to download one of these and show you a quick example of what i'm talking about so you click on the text effect that fits what you actually want and once you do that you click on download and you click on free download and make sure you are a registered user of free Peak so you can be getting some perks and rewards as a registered user don't just be a free user or a new user make sure you try and be a registered user of freepick.com so once the text effect is done downloading all you have to do is to go to your folder where you have your downloaded files and you will see a zip file just like this so you click and right click and click on extract to creative bold text okay that's fine and once you're done extracting you open up the extracted folder and you open up the photoshop file so this file opens up in photoshop just like this and this is actually editable and this is how to edit this text effect first thing you need to know is that the text layer here where you have a group layer called text is actually the layer that carries the write-up just as what you can see so you can hide the text layer and you see where you have your edition and under this edition this is where you'll be able to edit your text so you double click on the particular layer where you have placed your design double click on the thumbnail and it opens up just like this 
and next thing you want to do is to edit this text effect now you see the text are actually editable so once you see this prompt like this it's actually telling you that you don't have the exact font which was used for the text effect so all you are going to do is to replace this font with any font you like to use for your own text effect so i'm going to replace this text with a font i like to use and that is the font you see just right here okay this looks cool and very nice so i'm going to change the type to text okay text uh effect i think this looks cool and really nice so i'm going to highlight text and increase the font size to 300 i believe this looks cool so next thing I'm going to do is to adjust the leading and I'm going to press Ctrl A to highlight or and I'm going to adjust the leading to uh, 200. I think this looks very perfect. So all I'm going to do is to place this text effect just at the center here. And once you're done with that, you're going to save this text effect. So you simply press Ctrl S on your keyboard to save that. So next thing you're going to do is to close this edit we have just done here and once you close that it opens up just right here it takes the same place where you had the 3d text effect and you can use this for your designs next thing you're going to do is to take off the background so you hide the background by clicking on the eye here to hide the background and you have just the text effect on its own and here is what i do to take it to my design all i have to do is to select everything that is happening here and select all the layers where you have all this thing happening here right click and convert to smart object or you match all the layers and when you match all the layers you are able to compress everything and make the text effect very less in size so once this is done be very careful so you don't save this as a photoshop file and once you save this as a photoshop file it replaces the original file and you won't get the editable text anymore so follow these steps so you won't make mistakes so all you have to do is to come to file and you click on save as or save a copy depending on the version of photoshop you are using i'll click on save a copy and once you do that you click on save as type and choose png and png file comes as a file without background okay so you click on save and once you do that this box pops up so you just leave it as large file size and okay and this saves just as what you are seeing right here so with that it saves itself in the folder where we have here and you can use your text effect for your designs so pretty much this is a very easy way to get your 3d text effect done without wasting much time editing and doing all those stuff in photoshop just to come up with a 3d text effect this can help ease your workflow as a designer and real quick i'm not teaching you how to be lazy but i'm showing you how to do this in a very easy way and fast to enhance your workflow so if this pattern feels as if it makes you feel easy there are a lot of videos on youtube that teaches you how to make 3d text effects you can check them out and that's fine but this video helps you to speed up and enhance your workflow thank you very much for watching this video and make sure you subscribe if you have not done that yet and I will see you in the next video.